One thing that honestly pisses me off about anime is that it could honestly be quite repetitive. How many times has a new anime came out and you've already understood what it's gonna be about from the first episode? And it feels like you've already seen it before. Yeah, welcome to anime. The anime industry could be very repetitive. The reason for this is they really try to mimic success. Which at times it can be fine, like for example when Demon Slayer was very successful, the reason Demon Slayer was so successful was because of its animation and quality. What happened to the industry standard after that? everyone started focusing on animation and quality. Now that right there is healthy market competition. However, the one problem that anime has, it copies a lot of plot elements. For example, every isekai is like every other isekai. Yeah, there's one or two that step out of the mold, but every isekai anime is literally just the same show rebranded with a different name. It's like a literal reskin. The reason they continuously make isekai anime is because they're successful, they do well. Every time there's an isekai anime, it does some numbers. So it's kind of like a safeguard, right? Instead of trying something new, they already know that something's gonna work so they're like you know what we'll just stick to this and every big business and every company falls to this trap even marvel look at a lot of the recent marvel movies right a lot of the recent marvel movies have been quite repetitive that's why a lot of people have been feeling superhero fatigue but eventually the industry is gonna have to realize that hey this is not working out right we're gonna have to move away and it looks like shonen jump is starting to recognize that for the past couple of years they've been trying to replace naruto with series like black clover my hero whatever right while they are definitely different they have very key concepts and core elements that align with each other. But as of recently, they've been like, okay, that's not working out. Nothing's gonna replace Naruto and Bleach, obviously. So let's try something new. They came out with JJK. They came out with Chainsaw Man. And these are new. You could say JJK is a reclone of Naruto, but I think it's quite different. So, okay, we'll say Chainsaw Man. And they got a couple of new manga as well, like Don the Don, Mashal. There's a lot of new manga that haven't really been done before, which is great. We want a variety. We don't just want the same old, same old. And it's not just within the shonen demographic. It happens within the seinen demographic. It happens within the Jose demographic. It happens everywhere in the anime industry. Heck, I honestly feel like it happens more within the anime industry than the movie industry or the TV show industry. For some reason, anime just falls for it so easily. But I am seeing progress as well. I don't want to just nitpick and discredit them. No, I have been seeing progress with Shonen Jump as I mentioned and I've seen I've been seeing it with upcoming anime as well. And this is because the fans value creativity and nuances. So they started to realize, hey, we're not just going to put out the same thing because fans don't want that. So I definitely feel like there's been some sort of progress. However, I still do feel like they sometimes fall into the same trap because a lot of people always ask me, do I ever experience anime fatigue? And yeah, I do. Even though I watch a ton of anime, I've seen over 200 different series and my list is always continuously growing and I've been watching anime since I was a young child, sometimes I do end up getting bored. And my tip for this is I usually just don't focus on one set media. I feel like a lot of anime fans, they just watch anime and they don't mix it up a little bit. You gotta mix it up. You gotta try some movies. You gotta try, you know, TV shows. You gotta watch some, play some video games. There's a lot of things you could do to spice up your day. Don't just binge anime because you'll end up feeling fatigued. That's what I do. A lot of people also think the anime industry is dying down. I don't think it will ever die down. I think the fan base is too strong. And I think the industry realizes that, hey, we got to try something new to keep these people engaged because that's what they got to do. They got to keep the fans engaged and they're starting to learn, right? They've made mistakes. They've repeated a lot of anime before and they're learning, hey, okay, we can't do this. I'm, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. They've done it before and they failed a lot of times and anime has been repetitive at points and they failed more than other industries. Uh, but I feel like they are progressing as well. So I, I do want to give them credit there. But honestly, we're just going to have to wait and see. I, I do think anime is going in a very good direction right now. So... We'll just wait and see, especially in terms of animation. Like the animation we're getting now is truly outstanding. Like imagine we saw this back in like 2006, 2010. Bro, little me would be mind blown. But yeah, honestly, listen, if you want more anime content, manga content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I talk about all things anime, manga related. Also, follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm usually on Twitter 24-7 pretty much. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.